welcome to this video today we will have a complete tour of the engine room on a big merchant ship as we know big merchant ships require a lot of power to move around so we'll start our tour with the, the control station that means the, from where the whole engine room is controlled so this is the uh, place called as engine control room you have uh, operating panels you have uh, controls of the pumps for the engine for the everything so this is like a central processing area for the whole engine room and uh, here you also have the place for the workstation which the engineer uses like this one as we can see in front of us so this is what it looks like So now we will start exploring the engine room. Uh, let's go to the first deck of this engine room. The engine room on this ship is quite because uh, it's carrying uh, around 6,000 containers. So it's quite a lot. So you have quite a big engine for that. So the equipment that you see on the right hand side is the boiler, which generates steam used for heating fuel, water, etc. Now let's have a look at the high voltage power plant because on this ship uh, the power generated by the generators is high voltage which is 6.6 .6 kilovolt. So this is the central place from where the power is distributed all over the ship. These are the circuit breakers. To be more specific they are vacuum circuit breakers. They are feeding uh, pumps, uh, the thrusters the refrigerated cargo containers all of them this is quite a place of danger as well that's why you have additional safety measures for this place now let's explore the rest part of the engine room we will proceed to the workshop from here but first let's have a look at the main engine from the top of the platform that's how it looks like the main engine from the top these are some spare uh, like metal parts which is used to repair on board ship some of the nuts screw bolts lying outside this one is the reefer plant for keeping the food frozen. The one you see in the front is the air conditioning compressors. These are used to cool down the accommodation on merchant ships. Since the ship carries food in frozen form, so this is quite important equipment on board the ship. Now let's check out the workshop. workshop is a place where you have all the tools and you carry out the maintenance as required as you can see we have all kind of equipment the one in the front is the welding area which is used for welding carrying out the jobs related to welding on board the ship okay now we will go down to the next platform let's see what look we have from here these are two big generators like on land we get power from the power plant on ship these generators generate the power and it's distributed all over the ship can have four three or even 5 diesel generator as per the power requirement of the ship and this is quite a critical equipment on board ship because without power you cannot run the ship at all we'll have a walk around these generators just to give it a view how big they are 
on this ship since it carries lot of refrigerated cargo it has lot of big generator on the sides we have a uh, tanks for storing lube oil as the air bottle that you see is for the generator to start them these are big generators so they need high pressure air to start them on the other side this is the big air bottles for the main engine main, main engine requires a plenty amount of compressed air at around 27 to 30 bar the air pressure is used this small compressor is emergency compressor in case of emergency you need to start the generation you build up the pressure with this this one machine is called as control air dryer because lot of controls uses air and it needs to be free from moisture for smooth operation so now we can get some glimpse of the main engine uh this is the exhaust side of the main engine and the main engine on this uh, ship is 8 cylinder rta 96 bore 96 cm bore so this these are all the exhaust valves the engine itself can be 2 to 4 story high the engine is uh, the size of the engine depends upon the power requirement of the ship actually okay these are the other two additional generators the big ones the number of generator running uh, depends upon the requirement of the power if you have more uh, cargo which needs car power like refrigerated cargo then you have to start additional generator as well these are the fuel tanks that you see in the front it uh, carries the fuel which is required to run the ship Okay, let's check out some other machinery. The one you see in the front is the fresh water system on ship. The reason why we have a tank is that there is air on the one side and there is a water on the other side. So keep to keep it pressurized all the time because you have to pump water almost 10 to 15 stories high. This is the water tank for the boiler and this is the vacuum pump for the sewage for the toilet. Because on ship you have to treat the sewage before you throw it overboard. So this is the sewage treatment plant on board the ship. These are some of the spare parts for the main engine. Because on ship you need to carry some critical spare parts along on the ship. Because in the middle of the ocean, if something happens, then there is no one to deliver them. So you have to keep some spare parts. on the ship which are of critical importance this is the store room where you keep all the spare part for the machines i mean it contains spare part for everything which is on board the ship and uh, it's quite important job to keep the inventory of spare parts on board These are the turbo charger for the main engine. Okay, now we will. Uh, oh, the equipment this is you is the emergency breathing device. This, in case of fire in the engine room, you have to use if you want to escape it. So this is also present on each deck. Now let's move down to the other platform and see what machineries we have down there.
this is the fuel pump area of the main engine i mean this is the second platform for the main engine itself okay let's move to this important place this is called as the purifier room or fuel treatment plant the fuel that uh, we use on ship needs to be clean before it can use in the main engine so this is the whole plant where the fuel is heated purified and then pumped to the engine for burning the ship can carry fuel of amount around 6000 tons and these are the big purifiers for the fuel oil then you have for the lube oil for the main engine as well as the generator the small ones are just for the generator because they you don't need so much of oil for them as compared to the main engine the generators are smaller right These are all the panels for starting the purifiers. Now let's have a look on the other machinery. If you ask me if we are under water now, so almost. If on this level, if we see from the outside, we are under water. So these are the big pumps. These are the compressors for high pressure air that we just saw on the top. Okay this is the fresh water generator on ship you generate fresh water using the heat of the engine and then making vacuum and evaporating the water so you usually use the sea water and evaporate it and then cool it down so you have a distilled water so this fresh water can generate around 30000 liters per day these are the big pumps for cooling down the main engine and generators you have three pieces one is always running and other two are on standby So this whole area is for cooling down the water. Different kind of pumps for different kind of setup. These are the coolers, which is plate type, and these plates are made of titanium material. this is the uh, other side of the engine here it is called as charge air cooler it cools down the air which is used to burn inside the main engine so this is the charge air cooler area now let's uh, go down the another platform to see what machinery we have at the bottom most platform of the engine room. For your information we are almost already under water. So you have mostly here the this pump is fuel oil transfer pump which transfer fuel from big tank to the small tank and these are the fire pumps for fire fighting. and then you have ballast pump as well and this is how the main engine looks like from the bottom these three 
big pumps that you see are sea water pump they pump sea water into the cooler and then the fresh water is pulled from those sea water the disc that you see is the protection device called the explosion door so in case of fire inside the main engine then they will explode and release the pressure this is just for the safety so now you can see this flywheel turning the diameter for this flywheel is almost 2 meters it's a quite big one and heavy one can you tell how much rpm this in main engine is might be doing right now any guesses big pumps for lubrication of the main engine one is running and one is always on the standby these two big pumps and this shaft goes all the way down and that's the final point of the ship and then you have the propeller which is propelling the ship so right now we are already under water so you can see this is the end of the ship and then you have the propeller on the other side Oh by the way this is stern thruster which is used for pushing the ship on each port side or starboard side or in other language left to right or right to left so they help the ship to navigate in ports or congested waters this is the tunnel of the water which this thruster pushes this is a big electric motor how high the main engine is okay let's have a look how the main engine looks like from the top the shaft is turning and this is from the top platform of the main engine isn't it uh, amazing to see it this is the top view that's the platform where the control room was 